what's going on guys we're back with another backyard simulator video we've got another top 59 hole course today today we're playing frankston in melbourne australia um, highly rated nine hole course in the world so we're going to give it a go using the garmin approach r10 as the launch monitor home t hero on my phone should be a little bit easier layout wise than a pga level course so hoping to be somewhere around even par if all things go according to plan um and we're gonna give it a go so frankston in australia first hole par four we've got looks like a slight dog leg relatively straight slight dog leg right we're hitting down so we must be up slightly on a hill we're playing from the back tees like always we've got 357 it's gonna aim us 284 i'm gonna play up towards the right hopefully have a little draw on the driver back towards the fairway and uh see if we can start off with a decent drive here And that was not a decent drive. Popped it way up. That's only going to be about 150, 200 yards. Terrible. And we're right behind a couple trees, of course. So I think we're going to have to do like a punch out this way for... 115 down seven, so call it 110 plus another. We need about 120 here on the punch shot. I think, I think I'm gonna go seven iron punch shot, take our medicine, try to salvage a decent score on this first hole, not compound a poor tee shot if we don't have to. Gonna choke down on the seven back of my stance cut off that follow-through should keep it nice and low that's what we wanted if we don't catch the tree might even come back a little left for us all right we'll take that 150 yard punch shot plus or minus with the rough shortages and whatnot we are in the bunker but we've got 31 yards and 20 percent power reduction because we're in the bunker so that needs another six so right around 37 yards should do it if we can hit that number ah uh, hit it fat fat and left Barely made the green. Not great. Buggy to start. Second hole, par four. Looks pretty straight again. We got trees left and right, but decently wide fairway. We are gonna aim again up here to the right. Could really use a good driver swing here for the for the psyche. That was better. Still not off the middle of the club face, but that should be relatively straight and further than 150 yards. Not much though. I think we're clear of this tree, however, so we do have a look at it. We've got 108, down three, so we're at 105, plus another 10, we need 115. We're gonna go choke down pitching wedge.
caught it all right. It was a little heavy. It should be straight, and if anything, probably a little short. <sighs> That's the club I need. It's just I'm, I choke. I'm choking down too far on it. I've hit that a couple times now. Similar shot, right around 90 yards out of the rough. So. I need a little more club. We were close, but that's gotta be on the green from right around 100 yards, in my opinion, and to my standards. But, we got 14 yards. Need a little chip shot here with the 56. It's gonna be left, and a little long. Or a lot long. Hit that kind of thin. Not a great combination when you're not swinging the driver well and the wedges aren't great. It's gonna be tough to put up a good score that way. Third hole, par three. We've got short par three, 133, up three, so we need 136. That should be right around a full pitching wedge. Struck it decent. It's probably gonna go a little right. All right. I think we just got inside that plus one, so that might be a bird. Make up for one of those bogeys. I didn't catch that one great. Or it wasn't bad, but it wasn't 100%, which is probably a good thing. So, fourth hole, par four. We're hitting up. Again, not terrible, but it's gonna be low and left. Gonna have to mess with trees again. And it's a penalty stroke. Turning everything over too much. I gotta aim, playing too much of a draw. I'm afraid of the slice, so I aim up to the right. I gotta start aiming straighter. Open up my stance just a tad. All right. 170 up 10, so we're at 180. Plus another 18, so we're at 198 should be five iron territory. Hit behind it, it's going to be well short. funny I was talking to a friend the other day and he was mentioning how golf is very much so not a linear sport progression wise you can play well certain times you can hit certain clubs well certain groups of clubs well but it's so tough gaining that consistency and bringing down those scores and pretty much stringing it all together to where you're hitting not even great but just halfway decent drives halfway decent long irons mid irons wedges and putting of course, but it's tough. You feel like you're improving. Sometimes it feels like you're even going backwards, but you're just slowly grinding. Sometimes it's not even a one step forward, two st or one step back, two step forward kind of thing. It feels almost more like a uh, three steps back, two step forward, one more step forward, another three back. You get the idea. So, 28. Plus another two, we need right around 30. I'm 
I'm sure a couple years ago if I was shooting, if I was plus one through three holes for something like this, I'd probably be pretty happy and pretty thrilled, but it's funny, you hit certain shots and you think you can do it every single time, so I feel like I'm not even playing well. I'm kind of disappointed in it, but I guess I gotta keep things into perspective of where I started, where I'm at now, and hopefully where I'm trying to go. Left and that could be long. Gotta wake up the R10 again. Plus two for a double bogey, yikes. Grab some water quickly. All right, fifth hole. Let's try to finish these last few holes off. Get back down towards even. So we're way up on a hill hitting down 16 yards. Par five. Should give us some added distance here if we actually hit one. That should be straighter. That was a little more off the club face. It was still low. Ah, it's still turning. 270 though, I know I hit that one a little better, but I tried to open up my stance and that still seems like it went a good amount to the right, or to the left rather. All right, so we got 259 home, plus we need probably another 25 yards because we're in the rough, so we're gonna go three hybrid. We're gonna aim up there to the right, just so hopefully we don't even have to come close to that water. on a struggle bus as of late with the longer clubs specifically these hybrids and then the driver more so the hybrids than the driver because they're new and I've never really hit hybrids before but that driver as well that could be in the water Frustrating. 172, plus we need another 17, so that's 182, 189, should be six iron. Hopefully stick this green and make up for another bad shot. Seems like a round of catch up so far. Not sure what my worst nine hole score is doing this series but this could be in contention. Caught that kind of heavy, it was low, so it's gonna be short left. Another no bueno swing. Seems as of late. Again, that was somewhat of a longer iron. I'm only getting 50 to 75% out of these clubs because I'm not hitting them good. It's gonna be crazy once I start even flushing a fraction of these. So 23 yards plus another two, we need 25. Now, although I feel like I'm kind of hard on myself, I know obviously even the pros go through slumps and they go through periods where they don't play their best golf and then they kind of tweak some things. Obviously they have coaches which make it a little bit easier to analyze what they're doing and what they could fix, but just it's tough sometimes when you're not 
constantly trending in the right direction. Or you are, and it's just not as quick as you would hope it to be. Might be a little better. That's still left, though. And by no means is this a pity party, but just kind of trying to go through my thought process while I'm playing some of these. So, sixth hole, short par four, 256. Honestly, maybe kind of dumb, but we're gonna hit driver. I can imagine out of all the drives we hit so far, this could be the one that I actually hit good and it goes 275, so we're 20 yards past. But also maybe not, and we could just drive the screen at only 250. Started right, hopefully it comes back a little. All right, we'll take that. That was actually a better swing. Maybe I need to walk up to the driver from now on saying that I hope I don't catch it and don't hit it too far. Then maybe I'll actually hit it further versus trying to walk up to it saying, man, I need some distance out of this one and then don't hit it well. A little reverse psychology. So, 14 yards plus another one for the rough. We need 15. Hopefully put this close and get a decent score here. A chip in would be real nice for Eagle. Now that's not gonna be in, but it could be close. It's gonna be left. Plus one, should be a bird. All right. Helps the scorecard a little bit. Also 250 yard par fours help the scorecard, but then another one, another short par four, 259, seventh hole. Slight dog leg left, it's aiming us. That's probably a decent line if I can get it over these trees. Need to reload on tees. That was low and left. I might catch those. Yep. Uh. Basically, need, basically back on the tee, and we lost basically two strokes. Well, we're gonna hit three hybrid. Struck that one a little bit better. Assuming we caught a tree on that because that definitely went further than 160. So, we're in the fairway. We've got 96 up fourth, so we need 100. Gonna go pitching wedge. Hopefully we can actually hit a 100 yard shot here. Struck it pretty good, see what happens.
lawn. All right, rough seventh hole. 13 yards down one, so we need 12, probably plus another one for the rough, so we're right at 13. That was a little right, straighter though. Gonna hit it kind of thin. This is gonna be an ugly score. Triple. So I think we go from plus three to plus six, I believe. <sighs> yep. All right. We got a battle back. Eighth hole, par five. It's gonna turn over left, but that was at least struck a little bit better. Jeez. It was definitely going left. I don't know if it went that far left, maybe, but. A couple of these could have been, uh, maybe a little misread. I thought the alignment was decent on the R10, but maybe just the driver it's slightly struggling with. Granted, it's probably at least 75% me, but again, I don't know if that one went that far left. Either way, we're gonna aim up there, hit the three hybrid again. At this point, the score is already gonna be pretty bad. I'm just trying to get out of here with a uh, couple good shots. I guess we'll hit it again. The struggle bus continues. We're in the bunker underneath the tree with another tree to go around. I guess we might as well aim even further that way. Getting my practice in with the three hybrid, which is a plus. Caught that real heavy. Okay, 184. Up four, we need 188. Plus another 18, that's 198. 206-ish. Gonna go five, five iron here. Gonna need that massage gun that I mentioned. After this round, think about some of the things, a lot of the things that went wrong, see if we can right the ship for the next video. Almost missed the ball. Club completely turned. That was almost a hosel rocket. That was basically as far on the heel as you can get. All right, we might just stroke out on this hole and do another couple of those shots. 157, 159, plus another 15. So we're at 69, 75 ish. Got 
All right, we'll go eight iron. Between an eight and a seven, we'll go eight. I think I could use the extra loft here and actually get something off the ground. That was hooked to the left. I was gonna say the wheels are coming off, but they're definitely off. They've been off. This is gonna be a horrendous number. Thirty-four down one thirty-three plus another three, so we need thirty-seven. Maybe the golf gods will be nice to us and give us a chip in here for like a snowman. Yikes. All right, ninth hole. Maybe we'll get a hole in one here. Bring us down to a uh, plus eight. So, 181 up three. We need 184. Usually, that's between seven and a six. Normally, I would probably hit the seven, but based on how these past few holes have been going, I'm gonna club up and hit the six. <sighs> That's gonna be about 30 yards to the right. I think that was a little generous. Possibly my alignment's a little off, which would explain why the left was going further left and that one felt like it was going, like I said, 20, 30 yards right. Definitely went right and it was short, but I probably should have had this aligned a little bit better, a little more um, towards the right. So the left wouldn't have been as left and that would have been further right. But it is what it is now, three eight holes. So, 22 up one, we need 23. I don't know if that's gonna get there. Barely. Well. I suppose it's time to look at this ugly scorecard. So, from Frankston Golf Club in Melbourne, Australia, we ended up with a plus 1147. We went bogey, bogey, birdie, double bogey, bogey, birdie, triple, quad, and then bogey. We hit zero out of seven fairways. I think everything was left. We only hit two out of nine greens in regulation and 15 putts. The 15 putts actually isn't horrendous on nine holes, but everything else, obviously, to get a plus 11 on 47 on a course like this, as you guys could tell, wasn't very good golf. But it is what it is. I promised I'd show you guys the good, bad, and ugly, so I'm not gonna only show you scores that I had a decent round on. I'm gonna show you Stuff that I, I played really good on, stuff that I played decent on, stuff that I played really bad on, like today, which I would consider pretty bad. But um, until next time, guys, I'll uh, see you at the next course, hopefully with a better score.